business women, Robin Wilson, Laura Lee Williams, and Lynn Lambert. They're all entrepreneurs who have sacrificed their own paychecks to keep their companies afloat right now. Also joining us is Jerry Silverman, CEO of Corporate Turnaround, which helps struggling businesses. Jerry, the perfect guy to come into this scene here and give tips to these ladies. They all had thriving businesses. They still are in business, but they want some tips from you about how to make their business better right now. Let's start with Robin, interior designer. Mm -hmm. What tips would you give her? Well, she, you know, what happens, and, and with all three of them, they're very much in love with what they've created. They're all entrepreneurs. They built these things are their babies. They don't want to change their babies. Well, I don't like when my kids grow up either. But you know what? <laughs> things change. The whole market, the whole world has changed. And they have to do things that are different. They have to market their products differently. They have to go to different groups. They don't want to cheapen what they do. I know that. But guess what? Sometimes you have to do that to get through this, this market. Okay, so what should Robin do specifically? Robin specifically. Robin needs to, it's hard to say, but she may have to cut another employee or two. Uh, when you have employees, you're paying them and you're starving. You're not taking a paycheck. It's kind of tough at that point. If you don't sleep, you said it before, you don't sleep, I understand myself. She might have to find a new market for existing services, entertainers and pro athletes still making money, so that might be a good group of Absolutely. people to go after. Absolutely. All right, Laura makes these beautiful handbags. Any advice for her? Because I don't know how much you charge for these, but would using less expensive products to make them be a key for Laura? Without, without a doubt. You want to use less expensive products. But again, I, and I've talked to Laura Lee, and if she's, this is her baby. She doesn't want to use cheaper products, but you have to. It's adaptability. I say you just go to bring one of those to my wife and let her show it to her <laughs> friends, and you'll be set for life. <laughs> right now, Lynn, I understand. You, did you take out a home equity loan to keep your business afloat? Well, I have one, but um, not really. That um, I have a business line of credit and a home equity line of credit, and okay. they help at the times when things get tight, for sure. Jerry, tips. She makes these great T-shirts that everyone wants to have when they come to New York with the subway. Well, here, here's a tip, not not just for Lynn, but for everybody else when you take a home equity loan and use it to support your business or use that financing what you're doing is basically taking your home and putting it on a sinking ship if things don't work out it's very risky it's very scary again if you have any employees that's a good place to cut though it may be painful you also might want to think of new products that are in line with that which I saw you have a lot of varying products based on that theme uh, you know the market is out there it's waiting for your next great idea you came up with that idea there's another idea you're not out of ideas. You're very creative. Come up with another idea and feed the same market. Literally double your sales to the market you already have. All right, some free advice from Jerry to our three ladies. Good luck to all of you. We all hope Thank that you. your businesses continue to thrive. Jerry, thanks for the advice. Thank you. At this very moment, cops could be tracking.